as global trends shift. Oh no, we're not. We're moving on to 25. So does WWE. Yeah. We're entering a new era. New faces emerge. Yes. The universe era. Now why is it called that? And while the attitude is that just when they start using uh, the term WWE universe? Yes. It it integrates more of the uh, fans. What do you mean? They're, the fans started being able to vote, use the website, which you know is why they uh, began to promote that so hard. I do appreciate that. What's that? Uh, Edge's uh, spinner belt modification. Well, the, the belt is an ever-evolving thing. <laughs> well, the heavyweight championship, I think, has remained like that since its inception. Just a gold plaque. Yeah. WrestleMania 25 brought us to... Uh, Reliance Stadium in Homer in Houston, home, almost at Homer, Texas, in Houston, Texas. Uh huh. Sponsored by apparently the uh, oddly enough, considering what we were just talking about with Randy Orton, the, the National Guard, the United States National Guard. <laughs> wow. Okay. This so is, this is this be another is, triple threat match. Yes, John Cena, Edge, Big Show. Uh, I actually do know the story behind this match. Uh, John Cena wanted in on the Edge versus Big Show World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, and he got his way in by blackmailing Vicky Guerrero, who was the longtime GM of SmackDown, I believe. Okay. Um, Edge and Vicky were in a relationship. and uh, In kayfabe, not, not okay. in re real life. Um and, uh, as it turns out, she was two-timing Edge with the Big Show. How more than one man... How would that even work, his... physically? I don't know. It's frightening to think of. How do, you, how do you think that works emotionally? Like, how does any one man, let alone billions, apparently, stand Vicky Guerrero? I know, I understand that the character she portrays in kayfabe is not who she is. I, I, I was I was thinking more in terms of like, like, how could the Big Show engage in relations Any, without you know yes. anyone being killed? I know. <laughs> no, Vicky gets injured all the time. Like, it, it, when was the last time you heard Vicky Guerrero's voice? I I know it's not the most mellifluous of. It sounds. is shrill. It is god awful, yeah. and I. Uh, I know. I know she plays it up, and the thing is, she loves playing it up to be a heel. Like, is this the thing? And, which is why I don't feel that guilty booing her, because apparently she loves the negative attention. Okay. Uh, so yeah, John Cena uh, blackmails his way into the WrestleMania 25 Triple Threat for the World Heavyweight Championship match. Oh. A distinction I don't understand... Mostly because they have never in their life distinguished weight classes. In <laughs> well, wasn't there a cruiserweight title at one point? There was a cruiserweight title. Well, like, that's the thing, right? So they discontinued the cruiserweight title. So why do they still have the heavyweight title if anyone can win it? <laughs> like, Edge is here, and he is not in the same weight class as Big Show. If this were UFC, it'd be like, hell no. This man weighs 500-some-odd pounds. <laughs> this isn't fair. 
Uh, so, if, uh, no other ways to stall. Let's get into it. Now, this um, some of the matches uh, we won't be that aren't covered in this mode include. There was another Money in the Bank match, won by uh, CM Punk. Yes. Up against Kane, Mark Henry, MVP, Shelton Benjamin, Kofi Kingston, Christian, and Finley. Oh, and there was I remember oh. this one. Uh, there was a like a three-on-one, like old guy handicap match, uh, with, <laughs> with Chris Jericho versus uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Ricky Steamboat, and uh, Jimmy Snuka. Wow, a tornado tag team match with three old people versus Chris Jericho. <laughs> it was it was pretty decent actually. I remember Ricky Steamboat got it. He got like this massive reaction. He was so freaking. I amazing. imagine like people just went so, nuts for Steamboat, and he was a, and he, and he actually did he did some pretty impressive moves for his, considering his age. Yeah, well, Ricky's pretty cool, and something... I, I've actually met him in person very briefly. He was really nice. Really? I have his, yeah, That's I have his awesome. autograph. He was he was like doing he was at like some Ring of Honor thing. Um, something you might not know about Houston is that uh, there are a lot of Asian people. <laughs> Oh, is in that... the area. Okay. Yeah, I've got family down there. Oh, okay. So there's a there's a fairly sizable Asian community, and so I, I think I don't want to say he was, mm -hmm. but I'm fairly certain Steamboat was one of the first really big Asian stars. Okay. Well, yeah. He, his his mother was Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's true. He was. I can't think of that many, other especially like really like huge over like baby faces. Yeah, I can't yeah, think of anybody. He, he was the baby face too. Like he, he, his character nowadays would be like sickeningly sweet. Like nobody would, you know. Yeah, but it, him, it, it, he it would not be as over today as but, he was. But it worked. It worked fine in its era, and it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was definitely. You know, remember, always one of the really. Well, I mean, you know, he'd come down with like his wife and son and all that. Mm-hmm. And, just like I said. Perhaps part of the reason he didn't use his real name, Richard Blood. <laughs> so the disappointing thing is, this is the uh, the well-known John Cena entrance. Oh, is this where in where he's like, like got an honor guard of, of like a hundred other arrive. John Cenas. Yes, wearing that exact outfit. And they're like saluting it's him. It's a shame as... that they don't have it. They weren't saluting him. They were doing "You Can't See Me." Oh, were they? Okay. Yes. And it's really funny, having watched that entrance a few times, when you go back, it seems like they they weren't even that picky. They just had to be white and kind of tall, <laughs> because the height was really varied, as well as the muscle definition. <laughs> there were actually some dudes who were, were pretty skinny, or a little bit flabby. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they didn't want to have to render like a whole platoon of John Cena's. During the end, yeah. yeah, which I can respect. Oh, come on, no, yeah, I don't, I don't blame him. You had the druids; you could render like ten John Cenas. <laughs> but then you lose Not the effect because there was a shitload of of Cena clones with him at, at that event. Yeah, there was there was like fifty. That sounds about right. I wouldn't be surprised. It was it was quite a quite an entourage. All right. Yeah. So now you're playing as Cena, right? Yes. Okay. So in triple threat matches, I didn't get to see much of this because uh, Ooh, double team moves. Yeah. Um. When when two other competitors are in a grapple state, I can approach them, hit X, and John Cena will automatically side with one and help take down the other. So I don't know if this is a trait of the gigantic characters, mm -hmm. but um, in the specialty matches, yeah. especially Royal Rumbles and Triple Threats, the two lesser, like, not as big characters tend to automatically gang up AI-wise on the biggest one. Makes sense, I guess. And so here, Edge and I just double team Big Show. Well, it's like it's like a classic thing in in Royal Rumbles where there'll be like some really huge guy, and there'll be like a whole there'll be like a whole team of guys trying to hoist him over the ropes. Yes, uh, the one that comes to mind recently, the WrestleMania 30 Andre the Giant Battle Royale. 
differing from the Royal Rumble in that there were 30 people. Oh, in yeah, the Ro- ring Battle Royal, once. everyone starts something. Oh, sure. Yeah. This was what, what was it called? Like the Andre Mo- G- Giant Memorial or something? Yeah. Okay. And it was for a giant ass um, Andre the Giant trophy. And it was actually like Big Show was the favorite to win. Uh, Big Show wearing the classic Andre the Giant singlet. Oh, okay. But who, okay. Why, who, who did it turn out to be? Uh, it, it turned out to be Antonio Cesaro, uh, an up-and-coming uh, mid-carder. Oh, good. Uh, now touted as the King of Swing. I, you know, I said this is in Reliant Stadium. Yes. That is no longer accurate. It is now the NRG Stadium. Capital N, capital R. Oh, what the fuck? Capital G. Hang on, I gotta. The controller's doing something weird. Hang Uh-oh. on. Uh oh. Come on. Turn on. There we go. Ignore it. Ignore it. Nobody saw that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. So what does NRG stand for? It's NRG. It's NRG Energy Company. Oh, God. It's, I don't know, it's Texas, so I don't know, maybe they're oil or something. I don't know. So much like the previous uh, triple threat match. Since I have to perform a signature move, I'm just going to stand here and taunt. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I have a signature. And so now, I just have to... Oh, come on. There we go. Although, apparently, the prior name, uh, Reliant Stadium, that was also the name of a power company. Huh. But it's, it's a much less stupid name. So. <laughs> I don't know. If I had a company, I would totally name, uh, base it on a pun. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's all, it's it's never a good sign when like big companies try to get clever that way. Yeah, it, that's it, true. It, it never works out. I mean, you have to hit a good balance between clever and just, you know, stating what you do. T-Mobile. Oh, what do they do? Mobile phone company. Do you know what the technical uh, name for the camel clutch is? Uh, no. Okay. I couldn't tell you. I'm trying to picture somebody actually doing a roll-up pin on the big show, and that's... <laughs> Not an easy thing. He's a big dude. Come on, I need to hit three standing grapple moves on you. There's another. Oh, this is interesting. The camel clutch was originally invented by a wrestler in uh, Mexico where it was called the Horse Mounting Choke. Huh. All right. I, I'm at the risk of repeating myself. Have you seen The Fugitive? I've seen, like, the first half of it many, many a year ago. Um, Why do you ask? So, but you know the premise, right? Yeah, sure. How, uh... He's been wrongly, wrongfully no, convicted Harrison of the Ford did not kill his wife. It's based loosely on the real-life story of a, an, an actual doctor. Really? Yes. I know that. Uh, accused of killing his wife. Uh, and wrongfully convicted, actually. Was it actually done by a one-armed man? No. Disappointing. How did we get onto this subject exactly? Uh, well, the reason why is, uh, after he was, uh, acquitted, uh, he couldn't go back to practicing as a doctor because he, he was not fully acquitted. Like, he was 
he, he had he had like some lesser conviction that barred him from practicing medicine. Yeah, I think it might have been like. Um, uh, was he absent without leave as well? Obstruction of justice. I <laughs> probably. Everybody was. Okay, but anyway, he had some. He still had some other thing on his record that he couldn't. Yeah. Okay. So he he actually got into professional wrestling. Are you serious? This doctor. Yeah. And he Mick Foley's signature move, the mandible man claw, was originated by that guy. I've never heard of this. Yeah. Uh, it, he used apparently allegedly used his medical knowledge to. Um, discover a hold where holding somebody by the jaw actually physically hurts them and causes them to tap out. Okay, yeah, I looked it up. Yeah, Sam Shepard. Yep, Sam Shepard. Osteopathic physician turned professional wrestler. Convicted. Oh, wow, his, 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 his wife was pregnant at the time. Yeah. Oh, he was actually represented by F. Lee Bailey. Do you know who that is? Oh no, no, he's like he's a he's a famous attorney. He's done a number of crazy. Ah. I think he was part of OJ's defense team. Hmm. Huh. I could be. I could be just pulling that out of my ass. No, yeah, yeah, he was. Um, but okay, let's see. They did not call it the attitude adjustment. <laughs> One, two, three. Yay. Why do you... S okay, so John Cena is rendered wearing a belt on his jean shorts, but he's also sagging them. <laughs> He's a he's a complicated I, man, that John Cena. <laughs> I know he's supposed to be like thugonomics, but really, that's how far you're willing to take the gimmick. You're not even thugonomics anymore. God. Okay. So this ends the uh, WrestleMania 25 Triple Threat match, wherein John and I talk about wrestling holds and murder. <laughs> Uh, bringing us to Triple H oh. versus Randy Orton. Um, I'm I'm looking this up now. Uh, slight uh correction. He he wasn't prevented from uh practicing medicine by other criminal convictions. He was prevented from practicing medicine after he was re twice sued for malpractice by the estates of f former deceased patients. Oh. I don't know if he mandible clawed them or, or as well. <laughs> 